Hari Nipuni video is brought to you by Tronsmart. You will believe all the best electronic stuff for your home stuff. Tronsmart Element T6, one of the very best wireless Bluetooth speakers I pernah jumpa and I pernah guna in my entire life, you guys. Lagi satu speaker yang dipanggil the Tronsmart Element Mega Full Touch Panel with Bluetooth 4.0 Bluetooth speaker, you guys. This is by far the very best two speakers I have ever used in my entire life and I highly recommend you guys you guys should check it out kurang also boleh beli ni on Shopee and also on Lazada every link is in the description you guys you guys should go check it out highly highly recommend it now Hey, what's up you guys? Prince Maid here. Assalamualaikum semua orang. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling today? It's now pukul 3 a.m. right now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I akan bercerita about the world and the real conspiracy yang happen around in our world yang most people memang tak tahu. Alright guys? Most people, apa benda yang mereka baca kat newspaper yang they see on the news, that is what they believe. Kita tak nampak sebab kita nampak apa yang ada depan kita. That is the thing. In this video, kita akan really find out what happened and where is MH370. We will talk about a few more stuff. Okay. Um, I'll pergi ambil air, ambil makanan ke apa, ambil popcorn because this is about to be a wild ride. So... 8 Mac 2014. Apa jadi dekat MH370 guys? What happened to MH370? Sebab um, sampai hari ni guys, memang there's no answers. Sepatutnya ada a flight Malaysia Airlines okay guys. Aeroplane ni dipanggil MH370 KLIA punya airport. Sepatutnya dia pergi ke ke Beijing punya international airport. 38 minit after the the plane dah dah take off daripada KLIA the plane macam dah atas udara dah is away from darat lah kan after 38 minutes okay guys macam tengah lalu laut tau dia dekat um, South China Sea and then tiba-tiba you guys the plane just disappeared Breaking news tonight, a Malaysia Airlines flight with 239 people on board it departed Kuala Lumpur at 12.41 a.m. local time and was due to land in Beijing at 6.30 a.m. Sebelum tu macam the pilot cakap dengan orang yang jaga apa dia ni semua kan. Macam you boleh dengar macam everything was fine, semua benda macam biasa. Kita ada dia punya full audio of drum punya conversation and kita akan listen to it right now. Malaysia 370 standby and Malaysian 6 is cleared to Frankfurt via Agosa Alpha departure. Okay, Rekha 6 Alpha 340 to Beijing. Tower 118 Assalamualaikum. Malaysian 370. Malaysian 370, contact Hachimin 120 Desmond 9. Good night. Good night, Malaysia 370. Macam biasa yang mula-mula. Akan terus tengah asimbang semua. Ada yang disilap Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. You boleh dengar the captain punya final words from MH370. Those are the final words yang kita dapat dengar from the pilot who was flying the plane masa tu. MH370. Kalau korang dengar betul-betul, sebelum tu macam ada bunyi tau, you know, like macam bunyi apa benda aku tak tahu. I don't know what sound is that. Malaysian 370. Malaysian 370. Malaysian 370. I'm sorry, this is a, a very sensitive punya subject, but macam mana kapal terbang yang ada 200 lebih orang boleh just disappear? Most people say macam kena hijack. Okay, kalau kapal terbang tu memang kena hijack and then kita akan nampak the, the plane afterwards, betul tak? Sampai hari ni, kita tak tahu that ada ke siapa-siapa yang survive? Ada ke siapa-siapa yang actually survive? How can a kapal terbang yang besar macam tu boleh just disappear just like that? Some people kata memang macam ada 
I don't know okay guys I tak cakap benda ni I'm not saying what if ada benda yang bukan manusia actually ambil the whole plane and pergi bawa everybody to another world another dimension ke apa kita tak tahu itu semua we we we, we don't know Hari ni orang masih looking for answers Sebelum ni dah check kat laut And then they say it's not that one Somebody dekat dunia ni memang tahu There's a chance that this aircraft went down in the water Which is going to make the rescue or make the recovery efforts that much harder There's a chance that this aircraft went down in the water Which is going to make the rescue or make the recovery efforts that much harder Make the recovery efforts that much harder Make the recovery efforts skew or make the recovery efforts that much better. It's fun to think they uh, faked the whole thing. Everybody was quiet about it. So dirty in there, DJ. It's fun to think they uh, faked the whole uh, thing. Stop. We have a lift off. They uh, faked the whole uh, thing. Uh, that everybody was quiet about. Kau orang semua tahu Neil Armstrong and dia punya gang ada orang semua pergi pergi bulan in 1969, right? Stop. We have a liftoff. You tahu America macam mana kan? Macam they want to be the first to do everything kan? Macam they want to be the first to go on the moon. 1969 you guys. Orang semua kata Neil Armstrong really did went to the moon apa benda yang kita nampak semua yang video-video tu semua that is real videos he was on the moon and then dia cakap line yang paling famous and that is one small step for man one giant leap for mankind sebenarnya itu semua berlakon in a studio Orang semua kata that itu semua memang not real Zaman hari ni lah, ok Zaman-zaman dulu orang semua percaya Like wow, this guy pergi bulan And then dia return dekat bumi Wow, this guy jumpa the president The president um, I cakap dengan orang Masa orang on the moon lah I think that is very cool lah sebenarnya Sumpah tu Hari ni, most people memang tak percaya That they went to the moon in 1969 If you ask me, ok korang Memang boleh nampak lah You know, because Ada lampu semua, ada cahaya tau And it looks really bright Ada orang uh, cuba nak, nak buat balik Macam orang cuba uh, berlakon balik In a studio and it looks memang macam the original lah so aku tak tahu nak cakap macam mana nampak sebiji macam original it looks so real it looks so memang nampak macam betul so apa korang fikir kalau macam dia nak, nak tipu satu dunia betul lah honestly okay, korang dengan video-video uh, bukti that they show us take off semua you know dia pergi bulan semua and then they sampai dekat bulan and then Neil Armstrong punya first footstep on the moon I don't know whether it's real ke tak lah you guys I don't know lah Sebab macam boleh nampak sangat lah you, know, you guys Masa diorang dah dekat bulan dah Macam diorang pergi letak the American punya punya flag tau you know Macam on the moon But um, honestly okay guys I tak pandai sains I don't I don't know sangat Tapi dekat bulan okay you guys Ada angin Ada ke angin yang boleh buat dia berbendera macam uh, Macam tu it's fun to think they faked the whole thing that everybody was quiet about it. Ni semua the mind games of the world. Ada kena mengena dengan Illuminati tak? I think ada lah, you know, because they buat satu dunia percaya just like they Illuminati juga, okay guys. Dan lepas um Neil Armstrong dah dah sampai dah dekat dekat bumi balik, um ada di the land macam biasa dekat bumi kita. When those two Americans stepped on the moon, the people of this world were brought closer together. Conspiracy theorists that still think the moon landing was a hoax. I can't believe anyone still believes that crap. Ada, ada confidence ni. Orang semua macam tepuk tangan untuk orang semua and all that stuff. If you guys tengok muka orang betul betul, they don't look like they really went to space. I tengok muka orang pun, I tengok ini memang muka memang yang tak buat anything and they baru tipu dekat satu dunia siapa-siapa nak buat video-video yang macam tu pun boleh tu guys you just go to a studio and then you buat video benda-benda tu orang percaya ke? because I don't know I memang tak tahu
One small step for man, one I can't believe it actually leaves that ground. So dirty here, dude, do you, gang? It's fun to think they uh, faked the whole uh, thing. I can't believe anyone still believes that crap. Apa benda yang memang macam orang always beli? Every new one akan ada benda yang baru tapi orang tahu benda tu memang mahal but orang akan beli juga. Handphone. Orang memang ketagih gila dengan handphone you guys all over the world. If you guys go mana-mana akan ada kedai-kedai handphone dah. You know like akan ada kedai handphone. Why? Because orang always on their phones zaman sekarang. Kita nak main Fortnite, kita nak main PUBG. Orang semua memang always on their phones. Kenapa? Kita ada a front camera and a back camera. Sure, untuk selfie, untuk video call, untuk FaceTime semua. Tapi yang memang orang tak pernah cakap is that they are always watching you. Kalau korang perasan, every year akan ada iPhone yang baru. Every few months akan ada a brand new iPhone. Why? New technology akan datang every single time. Zaman sekarang, orang semua macam dah pakai a face ID tau. Kan sebelum ni, macam you pakai fingerprint ID, right? They are watching you all the time. You tak perasan, okay guys? I tak tahu pasal Android users, tapi macam I, I pakai iPhone tau. If you guys, I tengok betul-betul, you tak akan nampak lampu merah yang tengah blinking tu tau. If you see lampu merah yang tengah blinking to you guys, That means someone is recording you and someone is watching you Tapi, you tak boleh nampak You tak boleh nampak lampu merah tu dengan you punya mata sendiri tau you guys This is the iPhone The flashing red light up there I couldn't see it with my bare eyes And it has to be the the camera and When I look at it with my bare eyes, I, I couldn't see anything I couldn't see it with my bare eyes And it has to be the the camera Contohnya macam ni okay, you guys You cannot see the light You tak boleh nampak lampu merah tu But if you put it at the camera like that, you boleh nampak akan ada lampu merah yang tengah blinking on your phone. I really think you guys that someone is watching this. Tapi kita tak tahu. Just think about it, okay you guys? Sebelum ni macam you kena bagi your ibu jari punya punya fingerprint, and now ada face ID. Every single thing that kita buat dekat kita punya hari-harian macam macam kita buat apa-apa, our camera lens can see what we're doing sebab somebody is actually watching us somebody or a machine ataupun a manusia somebody in control is watching you tapi you tak perasan that is what they do I cakap dekat korang ok you guys don't use your face ID if you boleh um, you 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 pakai a pink code I mean just look at Apple punya App Store punya logo kita memang tak perasan But the signs are there, yes. Kita yang tak pasang. Topik yang ni sangat sensitif. Kalau korang memang memang tak boleh nak, nak dengar benda-benda ni. Korang boleh exit the video. It's okay. Right now, kita akan cakap pasal salah satu konspirasi yang paling besar dekat dunia kita. September 11, 2001. Pagi yang biasa In New York Macam tengah keluar rumah Macam nak pergi Macam nak pergi kerja Nak pergi sekolah Nak pergi office. New York dia, dia besar tau you guys Lagi-lagi dekat Manhattan Manhattan New York is huge Dekat Manhattan okay you guys Macam jarang ada Kapal terbang lalu lah. Macam aeroplane lalu Memang jarang gila And then tiba-tiba For the first time Ada aeroplane yang Yang kuat gila Yang lalu dekat Manhattan And then It was 8.46 in the morning. And then we heard a plane come over. And in Manhattan, you don't hear planes too often. So, so dekat berita, dekat TV, orang tak dapat get the the first plane yang langgan bangunan. Sebab tak tahu lagi kan. Over 2,996 orang hilang nyawa on that day.
I I'm gonna get in in trouble for for uh, for, for for saying this. Uh, uh, ada ketua dia guys yang bernama Osama bin Laden. Ever since hari tu satu dunia dengar nama ni. Masa benda tu jadi I kecil lagi tau. I tak tahu sangat apa yang tengah jadi. I was a kid. Nobody deserves to die that way. Uh. The conspiracy is this okay guys. Osama bin Laden sebenarnya dia seorang CIA. Afghanistan kan ada banyak minyak. Arab semua kan kan banyak minyak kan Mungkin ni semua they plan Illuminati punya punya kad tu lah Even they say that Kita semua je tak tahu Sebab kita baca apa benda yang ada dekat surat khabar Apa yang kita nampak kat TV Itu yang kita percaya Dekat dalam bangunan tu okay guys Orang yang tak bersalah Fast forward sampai presiden yang baru masa tu um, Barack Obama announce they got him Tonight, I can report to the world the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. What if I say something yang memang akan buat korang fikir that aku ni gila? Theory ni semua kata is that Osama bin Laden tak wujud. Osama punya real name, Tim Osman. It is now known that Osama bin Laden was a CIA asset under the code name Tim Osman. Just sebelum kapal yang pertama langgam bangunan, ramai gila orang kata that ada bom dekat tingkat satu orang memang dah letak bom inside the building sebelum kapal terbang yang pertama langgar bangunan escape through the lobby where they report they believe there was a bomb in the lobby and even the turnstile was burnt and was sticking up so I believe the, the bomb hit the lobby first and a couple of seconds in the first room Donald Trump said to you guys even he said ada bom and and mustahil a whole bangunan macam boleh jatuh just like that a whole bangunan yang besar macam tu you guys dua dua building boleh kena macam tu the world trade center was always known as a very very strong building don't forget that took a big bomb in the basement now the basement is the most vulnerable place because that's your foundation so many people dekat bawah semua kata orang dah letak that bomb in the building sebelum kapal terbang yang pertama hit the building This is the iPhone. What you mean, one two zero decimal nine? Eh? Right. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. It's fun to think they faked uh, the whole thing. Uh, they're flashing red light up there. I couldn't see it with my bare eyes, and it has to be the the camera. When I look at it with my bare eyes, I I couldn't see anything. Departed Kuala Lumpur at 12:41 a.m. local time. Okay guys, itu aja untuk hari ni okay guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please support this channel. Um, please hit like on this video you guys. Kalau korang nak video yang macam ni lagi. So korang memang takkan miss any videos if I post. Like on this video. Hit subscribe kalau you belum subscribe. And hit the notification bell kalau you belum hit the notification bell. So you takkan miss satu pun video bila ada upload on this channel. Be safe. Jaga-jaga diri. Jaga your friends and your family. Appreciate everything that they have done for you in this world. I love you all so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Assalamualaikum and I'll see you guys in the next one.